Do -do. Right, morning everyone. This is my very quick video on me showing you how to survive essentially your first day in Rust. Right, I've gone to a server that's very. Oh, it's like a lot's gone on here. Um, very basic. Um, essentially, what you're going to do is you're always going to start. Let me get rid of all the other things I don't need. You can start off with your rock and your torch. Okay. Now, right down to this is your rock is going to be gathering you resources. So if I go and smack a tree, bottom right corner shows me how much I'm getting. Okay, so wood. This can be 40. Usually on non-modded servers, you tend to get 10 with a rock. Um, I'm getting 40 on this one, and I am smacking a smaller tree. If I went to a bigger tree, I would get more. Okay, so I'm getting 80. Okay, right. Main thing you want to do is gather resources as soon as you get into the game, okay? No hanging around, no looking for places, just get cracking on with essentially building a small survival base for your first day, because your first is always the hardest. Your hardest part is getting off the beach, especially if it's like a very busy server, because a lot of people go there um, when they die and you tend to be beaten around a bit and people tend to kill you for survival. Anyways, how much wood have we got? So, yeah, this will take eight times quicker to get because of the mods, but I've got 2,880 wood. If you want to, you can click on it and you can half the stacks, or you can just put them back together. Just a little tip. Um, right, so after you collect some wood, you want to go for some rock. Now, rock will look like this, okay? Rock won't look like that. That's not rock, and that's not rock. It's rock in the game, but it's not the rock that gathers your resources. This is the rock that gathers your resources. If you want to tell how it is, look it's got a health bar, the rock actually has a fucking health bar. Um, bottom right, there's all your gear coming in. So with rocks you'll get stone, sulphur, metal ore and high quality ore. Okay. High quality metal ore is very very hard to come across. Um, not very hard to come across, like you will pretty much get it at least once per rock. But the, like, the amount you get is very small. To give you kind of understanding, to build an AK on this game, you have to have 50 rock, high quality metal even, refined. Um, this is it. If your rock starts to get quite low, so the rock you're hitting, it will start to go smaller. Okay, now I can't hit it. Control will get you lower, and then you can just start smacking it again. Okay, still get the same amount of damage from it, but um, yeah, it just gets you closer. Anyway, so once you've seen off that rock, you're gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot of gear. Right, there we go. So I won't need that, and yeah, I'll get rid of the sulfur at the moment. So that's kind of the things I'll be looking for. Don't get rid of the other things, okay, keep them, but these things I'm really gonna be working with. Right, your first objective, make some paper out of the wood you've got, okay? Now, blue, blueprints, building plan, okay? Craft, I'll turn it to that. Now this is quick. Um, this is Instacraft they use on this map, which means that, um, also that's really good if you, oh no, I thought that was mushrooms. <laughs> you should see mushrooms on the floor, pick them up and eat them, they give you a little bit. Yeah, as I was saying, it's a modded server, so everything is very, very quick. Um, it just kind of saves me time and saves you time. Right. If you have the resources, make a stone hatchet, okay? So stone hatchet now. If I go up to a tree, okay, I was getting 80 off this tree now. I was getting 80 off this tree earlier. Now when I smack it, 160, okay? So it's doubling up. So you instantly get more out of it. And they do last longer, I mean, look at the hatchet's health bar, which is the green bit on the left. It shows you how long it's got left. And it goes on for a long time. Anyways, right, we're gonna build. Do you wanna get your blueprints, okay? And you're gonna come up with this. This is your basic foundation. If you want to change it, right click and it'll come up with all these and every single one will give you a different um, building plan. Kind of like The Sims in a way. Right. With this, if you're building on like a, a rocky surface, this is fairly flat, let's go to like kind of a hilly surface here. Okay. You want to make sure that you can make it, um, it basically foundation only go up to a certain height. So with this, I'm going to put it fairly low there. Okay, I'm going to jump on. And then it should just naturally join up like that. Okay, if you do get it sometimes where it will just kind of that. Okay, it will just appear randomly and that gets annoying. But anyways, to build that, and over there, and again. And you see as I'm getting high, it's now red, so I can't actually build at that height. So I've kind of got the most I could. Right, so let me get rid of this one. 
Okay, we'll keep it to we'll keep it to three at the moment, okay? So we'll go one, 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 do, do, do. Okay, so there's your three by three. Right. You wanna to get to this now? You wanna to get to the wall. Okay. Now wall will obviously patch up some walls. Okay. I always tend to have a window so I can see out of um, I wouldn't tend to do it on modded servers, have a window on the first floor because yeah, it's because people can gather stuff quickly, it um, allows them to raid you. You can stop that really by putting in window bars. Oh, window bars there. And it looks like that. Okay, so that's kind of your basic foundation. Right. Next part, a doorway, obviously. Pop it into the gap. Sweet. Now, door over here. Click on that. Pop it there. And that is essentially your basic setup. Now, the problem with this now is you've got an open roof and your materials are quite crap. Okay, so look at these, they've only got five health. So if I hit it from this side, okay, look how far it goes down. Now if I go on the other side and I hit it, it doesn't go down as much, okay, but it still goes down. To counteract this, what you need to do, you need to go into this here, which is kind of your tools, hammer, Okay, craft a hammer, pop that in your inventory. From there, you can right click, and it says upgrade to wood, upgrade to stone, upgrade to sheet metal, upgrade to armoured. Don't upgrade to sheet metal because in re realistically it's pointless. The only time I use sheet metal is on windows because you can only go wood, sheet metal, armoured, even though wood is the only grade it starts at. I don't understand why they give you that option, but there you go. But yeah, sheet metal is the other one I'd go for with the windows before you go to armoured. Right, anyways, back to this. Right click, go up to wood, click it, and it'll turn wooden. Okay? Now the life on that now is 250, and that's five still. So we're going to go round and just upgrade them all. What I tend to do is literally press the right click button, it's automatically in wood, and just press the left key, which is so much easier and quicker. Sometimes you end up removing it, but there you go. Right, if your house looks like this, you've done it right. Okay, if your house looks like that, okay, you've done it wrong. Okay, the reason for this is that if you see the life there, that's 250, and this is 250. I'm going to smack this one, 248, 246, okay, smack this, 250, 250, 250, okay, 249, right? So it depends on which way you have it, it offers more protection. Okay, so we always turn it round so the wood is flat on the inside, okay? Same with the rock as well. I'll upgrade one of the walls to rock. Okay, you see that now? It's a nice kind of pale white. The other way, it's a bit darker. Okay, so a darker, darker rock there. See? Okay. So you want the dark rock facing outwards. Right, anyways, from there, your wood floor is going to be uh, essentially... Um, it's, it's, it's quite vital, okay, if someone sees that you've only got five wood there, they can smack in the bottom and get in as soon as possible. Right, so you want to upgrade all of that. Minimum of wood. I tend to do the outside ones first and leave the inside one if I don't have enough, because they can't get to the inside unless they go through the outside, okay? And let's turn that to stone. Right, so that's looking good. I need some more wood now. So we're going to pop out, okay, and go get some wood. So it's fairly easy, Rust. It's a difficult game and you have to have a lot of patience okay that's kind of the difficulty to it you have to ooh, you have to have a good degree of okay I, I, I don't care that I've just died because you will die a lot that's just kind of the nature of the game it's a survival game this is I, I always deem this game as the Minecraft I always wanted and never got because in Minecraft I always had to reload up a day also here's something if you go to Foundation steps, you can put some steps. These will also only be at five life, so I would upgrade them as well. It just makes life easier if you're trying to get into your house, you don't have to keep jumping each time. Right, close that. Um, but yeah, it's basically the Minecraft I always wanted. Um, I always had to load up day one again of Minecraft and just basically survive, and then once I'd done that, I felt like I was just rolling with it as easy. But this one, you're never, you're never in that situation. That's weird, you see the sun. Never knew that. It's like a. It's really odd. There's a new for me. Yeah, you're, you're never, you're never 100% safe on this game. 
Anyways, I'm going to build a roof. So I want the roof to look like this. Okay. Now, if you build the roof like that, and then put walls on either side, you're doing it right. Okay. If you don't, it looks horrible. It looks really horrible. Okay. Now, same again in your roof. Life is five. So I'm going to go along and just increase it. Now, you don't have to do this. And also, you will notice these ones on the end tend to naturally go inwards, which I don't really understand. It happens a lot, and it's quite annoying, especially when you're playing on servers and it won't allow you to change it. Right, I'm going to build some stairs to go up to there. Right, this is basically a, this is quite a more than advanced house. It's, I'm only redoing this because I've got the resources to do so. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Bang. Right. Now. Your house is built, it'll probably be a lot smaller, it might be like a 2x2 two two or even a 1x2. One by, one by I sometimes go 1x2s if I'm really desperate. Right, go to... where is it going to be? This one here, construction. Lock. Click a lock. Have that. Put it in your inventory. Okay. Smack that on there. Create a key. Okay, you've got to remove lock and create a key. If you move the lock, it just goes back into your inventory. Okay. Same with this. Put it on there. Create a key. It will go red if it's locked green if it's unlocked, okay? Now, you'll see this, if I chuck that key over there, okay, I can't open it. I can't even access this, yeah? Whereas if I have the key, even just in my inventory, I can open it, shut it, open, unlock, right. If you hold on to it, hold on to E, it'll come up with unlock key, or beneath, correct key, correct key, okay? One door key. Nice and easy, because what tends to happen is you tend to die, <laughs> often in this game and it can be very very difficult on non modded servers to get back into your house so i always tend to make a little storage box and once the lag's gone pop that in there okay so you've got a spare key so if i were to chuck that out or die with it okay the person who's got it has to find my house anyways which is sometimes difficult unless you're right outside um but yeah, it just makes life easier. So if you die, you just come back in and you can open your door without having to hammer it down, which I had to do in my earlier times in this game because you just can't you just can't get rid of them. They don't have a remove tool, which is very, I think, annoying because sometimes you can get a demolish key. You can like go onto the hammer and when you right click something, it'll go, oh, demolish, which is really handy. Other times it just doesn't let you. I don't understand that, but what the hell. Okay, let's um, find our next objective. We need cloth. Okay, so let's get some cloth. Cloth, you can get off animals, or you can get off these plants here, okay? These are your hemp fibers. Really cool, okay, I like these. Click them, they give you cloth. Okay, so I only got 20 cloth, which is roughly the average you tend to get from cloth, okay? Some servers give you like 200. I've been to one where I've chopped a tree once and it gave me 10,000 wood. I was like, well, that's a bit OP. Um, but yeah, so they give you that. Um, Right, so we're just gaining cloth. There's the rad town here. Let me just give you a little bit of basics to this rad town, okay? Because you will come across them and you will find you just no clip horse. You will um you'll find them hard to understand basically straight away. Because this is this is a very basic guide, I will remind you, this is a very basic guide as to what you want to be doing. But anyways, these rad towns, sometimes you'll hear clicking like a like going on in the background. What that means is that you're getting radiated, okay? When you get radiated, your bottom right hand corner here goes up with radiation and your health goes down. If the radiation exceeds your health, you're gonna die unless you get food in or whatnot. Anyways, radiation's removed. Um, I wonder if that sign says about the radiation. No, it just doesn't go. Okay, right, you'll come across these barrels. Barrels aren't just limited to rad towns or airports. You'll find them pretty much anywhere. They're just very random, but these are the best place to find them. Right, if you smack these, they'll give you, you've got blueprint fragments there, this one gives you building plan, hazmat boots, building plan, hazmat boots, okay, they offer you radiation protection, so there's radiation protection, okay, the same with this one as well. I won't spend too much time here, I'm just going to show you basically what's going on, and a camera hat, oh, excellent. Right. So, let's look for some more cloth. So, to find cloth, you really want to be looking in the woodland because it's where it just tends to appear there a lot more. 
if you're in the mountains you're going to have a hard time unless you can <laughs> really spear a um oh was it like a horse straight away or an animal because then they'll give you cloth but it's bloody hard it's bloody hard right where's that there's a cloth there Excellent. Okay, you might be wondering why I'm gathering cloth, or you might be like, well, I can kind of make out what I'm trying to do. But you've got two reasons for cloth. You've got bandages, which are really good. And you've also got a sleeping bag. So where's my sleeping bag? Where's my sleeping bag? Must have just been past it then. That's annoying. Where's my sleeping bag? There you go, sleeping bag. It's 30 cloth, 100 wood. Make that, got that. Okay. Blueprint fragments, by the way. If you get 20, which is the minimum, to actually construct a blueprint. Okay, I've got 20. I'll click reveal blueprint, and it gives me a space layer. Excellent. Right, let's go back to that. I'm just gonna go and raid this rad town quickly for my own personal benefit. Right, so I left the rad town with quite a bit more, which is handy. There's a lot of things I don't really need, um, but I've got them anyways. So I picked up some rockets, miners helmet. I got the balakalava, which is awesome. There it is, the old sackhead. Um, they're cool, they're a new addition. They've only come out within the last week. Um, right, we're going back to the house. Now, try to remember where your house is, because I think I forgot where mine is. I think it's down this way. It must be close to the beach. Yeah, don't try and go too far away from it. You can make a map, which is handy. If you do want to make a map, it's on construction. Here you go. Items, paper map. Okay, that will be pretty handy to find yourself, to find yourself, um, to find your home. Find yourself. <laughs> right, let's go back towards my house. There it is. Excellent. Now, as I said, you got your sleeping bag, okay? Do you want to take your sleeping bag? You do. Take your sleeping bag and put it... I tend to put it out of the way of the window so people can't tend to see it. So I put it over there, okay? And you can rename them. So this is Home 1 for me, okay? You can call them all Home 1 if you want, but that's to me is Home 1. You can also give them to other people. The way you do that is hold E and then you can go down to give to a friend, okay? Right, chest, let's put in some of these, because why not? And that looks good, okay? Right, so this is basically your basic layout to your house. Now, if you want to start other people building next to you, go outside, go to a tree. Doors don't automatically close on most servers, on this one it does, hence we're adding closer to some. Right, go find a tree. Get your wood to a thousand. Yeah, you want a thousand wood. Not a thousand wood. Excellent, back we go. And this is basically the last step. Okay. So, a thousand wood inside here. You want to go and build a tool cupboard. Craft. Put it in there. And put it out the way of people. Okay, so they can't touch it, and even better, can't see it. Okay, so I put it over there. Now, bottom right corner, it says building blocked. Okay. So, authorize, press E, and let's say deauthorize it. So I've got building privileges. If I didn't have building privileges, okay, I wouldn't be able to do things like, say, for instance, I couldn't right click this. Okay, so I can't right click that. I can't, but I can heal it. I can't right click it, okay, so my building privileges are gone. So I can't remove anything, I can't change anything, I can't upgrade anything. As soon as I get building privileges, I can change again. Okay, so I can right click, right click absolutely everything I want. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is your first house. My first house. I'd be pretty happy with this because of the level it gets to. A um, couple of tips. Because your lock, okay, is only a basic one and it gives you a key, essentially when you die someone can just come into it, okay? which can ruin everything. So my objective for you, okay, would be to make a furnace, okay? The 200 stone, 200 wood, 
50 low grade fuel. Low grade fuel, kill an animal. Okay. Free animal fat, one cloth, and that'll go up. Anyways, get your low grade fuel, we make your furnace, and with that, you can start melting your metal fragments. Okay? So these here. That means that once you've got enough, you can turn this into a sheet metal door, which is so much better than this one. I think they should offer more protection for this door because 125 is not good. But yeah, there you go. Anyways, that's the house. Any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. I'm pretty active with all of this. Um, but that's pretty much it. Not much more you can really say. Cheers.